I put off my data, like I put off my data, I put I put my phone on DND fast fast, then I came back again. Because I got me. I was like, you know what? No problem. Let's guys just carry me. Do this. Then it, no, let me just speak the call. I fixed the call. Then I was like, was that he wants he wants to be the one to carry me. That he's going to get sent down now. That somebody just told him the road. Okay. So you know what? I'm running late. Let me just chill and <laughs> I have just for you people. In fact, it's a story time that you people just from the title you can see that something mad, something crazy went down. Okay, before I start, before I go into the video, before I start talking, because oh no, yo, I'm going to like okay, I'll make it short as possible, but yeah, anyways, bro. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel or your new year or um or you forgot to subscribe or you're just watching you don't subscribe ah uh -uh, why <laughs> well let me like introduce myself again i'm that silver you're a baby girl but try by post i have to be a baby girl because that's just it you don't have a choice and i need you guys to please subscribe to my youtube channel and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an enemy i don't know anyone do you understand yeah now i'm giving you like time 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 to subscribe i really wish you to subscribe and if you're liking the video and you definitely drop a comment and please drop comments now Seth, to show me that yes you heard what i said so i'm a senior marketer for red bull um at the university of Ibado. so this day this very faithful day i was supposed to go for sales support and sales support let me explain what sales support is exactly it's just to support sales do you understand like of um we go to supermarkets and all that like support their sales give them branded items and all that do you understand so this day <laughs> this day all the branded items were with me the drinks were with me everything that we're going to use were with me with me and i was supposed to go and meet um i have a partner i was just going to meet my partner and the person i was going to like taking us around i was just going to meet them around it's not far from you Aisha. around 12 sha i ordered the um boats because it was supposed to like take off by 12 but i was leaving that place by i was leaving my hostel by 12. i said i ordered my boat though <laughs> i ordered my boat this guy i told him i was at st town's hostel St. Town's Hostel is one hostel, is one female hostel in Luaida. I think everybody knows. But okay, fine. If you don't know the place, should she, let, let me even like break it down like this. I order this guy, this guy's whatever, whatever. Then he picks it. He said he was coming. I was I did put my stop outside because I didn't want to like you no, know, I was already I was already running this. Do you understand? So I just put my road outside road. Like, okay, yeah, when this guy comes, he's going to see me on the road. Bam, I'm going straight. Just, you get so <laughs> This guy, I waited, waited, waited. I saw one of my friends outside, yeah. They were talking because they were sitting opposite, opposite my hostel. So we we're just talking, we we're just catching. Because that one was like, ah, what's going on? I should have called the guy again, the boss guy. Then he was like, ah, that um, he has gotten to Catholic, that where am I? I said, I'm at St. Anne's. This is Catholic. I said, me that I knew that where I am is where I am. She, I don't understand. Is it you that put me in Catholic? Okay, then I was like, you know what? Because we kept going going back and forth over the phone and I didn't like it. I said, Uncle, Uncle, please, can you please? I want to cancel this ride. Let me call on that person. So <clears throat> that's why I ordered the ride again. This guy was speaking. I said, God, I canceled this. I ordered another one. He was still picking it. I said, okay. <laughs> Bro, I don't understand. Do you know what I did? When the guy was he kept calling me. I put off my data, like I put off my data, I put I put my phone on DND fast fast, and I came back again. Because I called me again. I was like, you know what? No problem. Let's guy just carry me. Do you guys? Then it, no, let me just speak the call. I picked the call. Then the guy was like, it was that he wants he wants to be the one to carry me. That he's going to get sent down now. That somebody just told him the road. Okay. So you know what? I'm running late. Let me just chill and <laughs> if I had known. Okay. This guy should have got the sentence. His car was fine. I'm not going to lie. Like, there's no point doing anything. anything. So when he when he, got, when he um got the sentence, yeah, it was I asked him. I said, "Can you start the sentence?" I showed, I showed him the um the name. I said, "Hey, that is new. That I just had both business and um he didn't know the road, blah blah." If you don't know the road, why didn't you use Google Map? Like I kept on saying it's sentence, sentence. You are drinking. You are ah, Come on. But anyways, no problem. 
I just entered the car. I put my stuff at the back, at the back seat. Then I sat in front. Because I'm always sitting in front. Yeah. That's how I just sat down. Then we the, just started the trip. Then this guy just, all of a sudden, he just asked me that, oh, I'm sorry, you know, you know, it's not part of work ethics, blah, 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 that, um, in, um, am I working red? But I said, yes, because, I mean, I was clearly wearing red with top. So, I mean, anyway, sure, okay. I was crying with violence stuff, so, um, so, that was like the guy that said that, um, you know, it's not part of work ethics, so, that, um, can he also get a job red bull blah 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 blah, blah. i was like oh that i'm a stem like i so i don't really have like i don't have any idea about stuff like that but if i get to see anything i will let him know do you understand <laughs> we're going we're going we're going we're talking talking see anytime he wants to talk to me he knows it's not part of work ethics it was, i don't even want to go into details of all those things that i was saying because you'll be like when did you guys enter this one how many distance have you people moved that you over? Okay, fine, yeah. So sure. Yeah. When I I almost got to like when we almost got to where I was going to like stop, yeah. I told him that ah bro, I'm going to highlight here. Do you understand? This guy could this guy did not get it on time, he couldn't he couldn't like traffic it and all. So what she I'm moving to the ground. I said one cool please, I wanna stop here. Mainly, I then I was already calling my partner that because she was already texting that what's up that where am I blah blah. I just call, I was like ah let me call this babe. I just came I came out of the car. Let me carry my stuff at the back. The guy said that um he didn't pack properly. That he wants to repack. And I was on the call with my partner, my dear. I closed the door that this guy wanted to repack. He was repacking, moving to the front, moving to the back. I see what's going on. And I was on the call to this guy. This other this guy. This guy fled. Bro, he fled. Guy, I was on the road. I wasn't like mm, on the road. I was like a fool. Like a very, very big fool on the road. I was like one stupid idiot. Bro, I was just shouting. I was like, wait. Oh, God. I cannot forget that. Dude. Bro, I was shouting on the road that this guy should please wait. And this guy, he fled for his dear life. He went, disappeared. People want to work, people have to like shells because I wasn't like one butter baby. Do you understand? Know I was like one butter that can, I was, oh shit, can, I kind of like remembering it is like, oh my Jesus, why me? I don't know how to explain it like this because things are calm already. But like that day was not funny. I was shouting, like it was so much, it was just weird. Like that kind of thing has never happened to me before. Bro, this guy, like the only thing that was with me was my bag, my handbag. Because I, I paid him, do you understand? Know so. That was the only thing with me. Like I was only like, holding my hand. Everything, everything at the back of my all the body items, the bag where I was supposed to put the drinks. Like we have one big bag like that. Then the drinks, the drinks. I had, like how many cartons there inside the car. Then all the body items and the big bag. I was like uncle, this man. I kept on calling this guy. Like I, when my partner got there, like I thought I'd come and meet me because I was because of the load I was carrying. This guy they carried me off where I was going to like stop my dear <laughs> that was how this man disappeared in my hand i shall i kept calling him then he was rejecting my calls like i was very very confused i did we we're standing we we're just walking like maybe we didn't even know bro it's like i'm even doing we it's like if anything, if anything should have happened it would have been me because it was me that carried the stuff you get like the blame would just be on my own head and everything like it's not as if you know, i do not deserve that kind of thing you get so all this <laughs> Last last year, after calling, 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 this guy called me back. I said, Why am I calling him? I said, Ha. Mm -hmm. She did not see that I put my load inside your car. <laughs> he said, Oh, I forgot. I thought I carried it. I said, Uncle, you told me. He said, Kim. He said, Turned again. I don't know where he was coming from. He said, Turned. It was like that, bro, that you carried my load and you jacked me like that. <laughs> this guy said that. Um, that it no that me not carrying my load, but it was so rude. Someone that was in, um, you know, the work I takes, no, 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 like he didn't even apologize, he didn't, bro. It was very, very rude. He was like, I should pack my stuff, I should pack my stuff and leave. I don't even know the spirit that told him to bring it back, but thank god, at least they brought my stuff back to me, bro. Guy, that day was not funny. I'm not even going to lie, I was really, really shocked because I wasn't expecting that kind of thing to happen at all. At all, do you get ah man the only thing i want to say the moral lesson for today's story is that if you enter boat in eh, and you're carrying something i you know it's very, very valuable to you you get like sit with it 
do you get sit with it there are different things that have been happening people have like so many funny experiences with boat drivers i've never actually had any like it's only if you if you're acting rude um me i will call a council the ride and i order that person but this one kept calling me even from the time it was the he has to be the one to carry me i feel like that was when i should have known that okay yes the devil is coming but no i did not i was rushing somewhere so i really did not like put that to out or anything ah that would have been the end assuming the guy did not come back like what the fuck would that be saying i'll be saying um yeah, my boat driver carried my load and he ran it doesn't even make sense to me like it doesn't make sense ah man I don't know. I don't know you guys. I don't know you guys' uh, experiences. If you feel like dropping, saying it, you can just drop it in the comment section. Do you understand, oh, guys? Daddy was not funny. Daddy was not freaking funny. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening to my story. If you not enjoy it, if you enjoyed it, tell me. If you not enjoy it, you're lying. I'm very very sure you're lying. Ah, what's that? Well, thank you guys for watching. I make sure to share with a friend, a friend, a friend, an enemy. Cousins, uncles, aunties, and also, yeah, I was going to say this year. Um, I think I, I'm not this kind of person that likes to like insult bull drivers and all of that because you never really know what's up and everything. Do you get so maybe that was why I did not really talk, I don't say anything. But I know some of these people actually deserve to be insulted. Yep, they deserve it, they deserve it so so so. What else I want to say? Be sure to like. Comment and subscribe. Hmm, five. I'm coming.